have this constant problem. Every time I open Fortnite, my settings don't save. I have to change them every time. It's driving me crazy. Let me show you what I mean. I go into Battle Royale. And it changes it. It's not even full screen. I go into the lobby. And I go to my settings. And they are all different. This is not the settings I want. I can change it. And it's good until I close Fortnite. But then I have to go through and do it all over again. So I was thinking, why is this happening? And Fortnite has evolved so much recently. They change how things are done. So I have a quick fix. I'm going to show you how to do it so you don't have this problem either. Because it's a lot of time each time you open up Fortnite. You already have to wait for it to load. Let's just get into the game, right? So I'm going to show you how to fix it. And here we go. Let's do it. We have to close Fortnite first. So this is actually very easy to do, but there are a few steps. So make sure you stay with me, follow them one by one, and it's not too difficult to do. I will get you through this. We will get this. So all we do is click in search and type File Explorer. You'll see File Explorer come up. Go ahead and click on it. With this, we'll go ahead and choose the C drive. Once we're on a C drive, we're going to go ahead and change something here. On the top, we're going to go ahead and choose View. And want to make sure that you have hidden items and file name extensions checked here. Just because these files can be hidden, so that way you'll be able to see them if you haven't done this already. Most likely you've done this already, but just in case you haven't, go ahead and check those both. Once we get that, we're going to go back over and we're going to go to Users. We're going to choose the name of the computer you use. And then we're going to choose App Data. Once we're in App Data, we're going to go ahead and choose Local. Here we're going to look for Fortnite Game. Double click on Fortnite Game. Then we're going to choose Saved. Config. Windows Client. And here we are. So basically what's happening is this file here, gameruserSettings.ini, Fortnite is unable to change it. So we need to allow Fortnite to change it. It's pretty simple. All we do is right click on it, choose Properties, and uncheck Read Only. Now go ahead and choose OK. And you can go ahead and leave it this way. You can leave it unchecked unless you're going to want your settings the same all the time. If you're going to want your settings exactly the same, what I would do is change them in Fortnite, come back, and then just right-click Properties and check Read Only again so it stays that way. But I'm going to change mine from time to time, so I'm going to leave mine open. But if you're worried about messing them up, that's a good thing. So let's go ahead and check the game, make sure everything's working correctly. So now that we're back in the game, we just opened it. We're going to go ahead and choose here. We're going to choose settings. I'm going to just switch some settings here quick. And we're going to go ahead and choose apply. It's going to come back and ask me, do I want to keep it? We're going to say yes. And now I'm going to close and reopen. Let's go back in and see if it worked. We're loading up here now. Come on. Looks good. Let's check the settings. Boom. There you go. No longer have to change them every time. Good to go. I'm glad we got that fixed. Nice work. Thanks for sticking with me. Got another video if you want to check it out. I recommend this one. I think you'll like it. See you over there.